climber Steve Backshaw and the team have spent the last nine days descending the Mendenhall Glacier. Wow, look at that. That is the most beautiful thing. Ice scientist Dr. Katie Walter is searching for a way inside the glacier. She wants to see if meltwater is flowing all the way down to the valley floor. The team finds another moon, a tunnel carved into the ice by meltwater. Even though Steve had a near disaster in a similar moulin just five days ago, he's determined to try again. I reckon, honestly, I think we can get down in that. I reckon we can actually look at the underneath out the glacier. Are you out of your mind, Steve? Well, I mean, it's just the perfect opportunity. You're never going to get another chance like this. I want to try and get down and actually look at the underneath of the glacier. I mean, that's where all of the, all of the melting is really happening, and that's what speeds the glacier up, what makes it move. It's like, it's almost like oil lubricating the bottom of the glacier. And if we can have a look at that and we can see what's happening down there, you can really understand why they're racing so much faster now. Katie believes that Alaska's accelerating glacial melt is contributing to rising sea levels around the world. Alaska is a huge state and it contains an incredible amount of ice. So as long as that ice is locked up, uh, we're in more of a stable state. But as that ice is melting and turning into water, it affects people who live in Florida, it affects people who live in New York, it affects people all over the world. Deep inside the glacier, Steve experiences the stunning power of supercharged erosion. Meltwater cutting through ice and breaking it up. When you're here in the guts of the glacier, climate change stops being something you just read about and starts becoming something you can see and feel. I don't think there's anywhere in the world where you can more feel the, the destructive power of water. I mean, it's carving and sculpting the ice here, but it's also tearing the glacier apart from the inside out. Steve thinks the channel flows to the valley floor, but it's too dangerous for him to continue down. 